Are those helicopters over there? No, kites. <clears throat> oh. Kite! Wash your water tower. That's an achievement to do one of these. That's taller than I thought. Stop! Hold on a sec. Before you go forward, let me just turn you down a smidge. There we go. You can't let that happen. <coughs> the tower's mined. Try and disarm the charges. Fast. Oh, just taking it off the wall to disarms the charges. G fuel! You know what? I should have some. Do you drink it with water or milk? What? Why the fuck would you drink it with milk? It's not a protein shake. I'm fucking man. Straight water. How the hell do we get out there? Yeah. Milk. I never tried it. I heard some of the YouTubers say you can drink it with milk. Why the fuck would you drink it with milk, dude? So it's an energy drink, not a protein shake. That doesn't make any sense. Why the fuck are we going? There might be milk in there. What is that? Maybe. Did you get up there? Just jump. Just well, up the turbo thing? I mean, you can just walk out to the thing. There's a ladder there, or or I'm about to teleport. Oh, there's a thing up here. Inhibitor. Maybe. Nick, um, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck just happened to you, Cam? I Are don't you know. Scared of ghosts? Maybe. That could be a possibility. Two people in here should just kill me. Oh, they're facing the other way. Bombs. Let's talk. The time for talking is over. We're gonna fuck this place up. You're not listening. You're done. I want it to be over and to leave the city safely. Right, help me and I'll help you. You're fooling yourself, Jack. Nobody's letting us out of here alive. Look, I am a pilgrim. Let's just blow it up already. 
I dare you. I know you won't do it. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. <laughs> Fuck it up! I don't know. I'm scared. Joe, wait. Joe. Hey. Isn't that the pilgrim who showed up at the bazaar recently? Maybe. Pilgrim or Pope. So what? Don't you get it? If he's a pilgrim, he can get us out. Once a Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. I don't trust that fucker. You don't trust anyone. <laughs> I told you to play nice with Barney when we had the chance. Fucking listen to me for once. Well, play nice with Barney? What for? To make him get the fuck out of the bazaar. After what we found out from the peacekeepers. We tipped off the fucker, gave him a chance to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. They warned Barney. About what? Well, about Lucas wanting to take him in on weapons charges, among others. But set a trap for him for weeks. And instead of politely getting the fuck out of here, he tried to play cute instead. So, Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in old Villador. And you ask me, war's the last thing we need. Money, crystals, that's a different story. That's why I tried to put an end to that rabbit dog and his sister. So, Pilgrim, will you get us out of the city or what? Calm down, Joe. I won't fucking calm down. Calm down. Get us out of the city, Pilgrim. To the nearest safe settlement. And no one will die here. Want me to Wait. help them? It doesn't seem like we can't really overly bad. They can't, they can't kill us. True. I can get you out of town, but first I have my own business to take care of. You need to hide somewhere and wait. Sounds like a huge risk. Wait. No risk, no gain. He's lying, Jack. There's no other way. Fuck! I don't like it. I fucking don't. But okay. We'll be waiting for you in the tunnels near the Tango Motel. We'll give you a signal when we get there. Good choice. Now give me the detonator, Jack. Old Vilador. If they did try to turn on us, they definitely couldn't kill us. Mm hmm I took the risk. Uh, so what now, Aiden? Smart guy. Who gets control of the water? Me. The people. You're all to yourself. Durham also stopped in the door. The fact is taking risk to reduce it is shocked his peacekeeper stops installing combat focused traps while survivors build parker helpers to make traversal easier. Should we Wouldn't try it? and get rid of all the renegades? Oh, wait, they're on oh we can't do that. Um I don't know, it's not just survivors. Just wanna give it to survivors? <clears throat> they put zip lines and shit everywhere. Yeah, that'd be good. Alrighty. <clears throat> Apparently, this doesn't even matter. These choices. Oh. It's like they don't care what you choose, the people. It's just like, it's either build traps or build uh, traversal things. From what I've heard, anyways. Okay. This is a game where your choices matter. Whoa. Why can't I move? Why can't I move? I'm stuck! Please let me move. Lucas was trying to capture him. Jack and Joe warned him. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Maybe we should check out Barney's hideout in the Hotel Tango. I'll make sure the place is safe. Whee. You can go search Barney's stuff. 
How did you miss did it? Did you watch me? I don't know! <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna make it in time. You killed yourself. Jump! You expect me to just attach to it? <laughs> oh, wait. What the fuck? Alright, round two. What is happening? <laughs> I was jumping it. Of course, it's a traitor. Give me your fucking money. Uh, what's this? 39, 40, 3, and then we'll get. Oh, man. What's up, madam? Good morning, pilgrim. Have I already thanked you for for the water? I hear you were robbed. But my best friend, no less. But my mother. I'm devastated, really. What you two kill? I must say here. <sighs> Why on earth would you jump to that conclusion about your best friend? I didn't want to, but who else could it be? She was storing it for me to keep it safe. She said, and now. It's conveniently gone. Oh. Me and my boy are left with nothing. If Just, only uh, she you got some more. And return the flower, I'd forgive her. I swear I would. Lord is my witness. If she's in trouble, I'll help her. But she's a stubborn one. We've had quite a harvest too. Wouldn't have had us living on Easy Street, but now, now we'll starve. That's good. <laughs> Do you have <laughs> proof that Anna did this? Not exactly. But was in her shed, wasn't it? And here I thought she was doing me a favour offering to store it. Mm. Turns out she was Isn't just it? making it easier for her to screw over me and my boy. <sighs> Talk to her, would you? I she bet it is her me. kid. Maybe a stranger could get around her stubbornness. We can put this it's behind It's like that us fat kid from fucking Charlie and, and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> she eats everything. It's she Augustus Cook. She's eating yeah. raw flour. The shed's near the water tank. Yeah. Please, don't talk to her. I'll think about it. Oh, mama. There's tomatoes behind me. Just sell the tomatoes. Potato. Huh? There's tomatoes behind me. What is this? Just sell the tomatoes. They look like shit. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, true. What's this? I found it. Oh, what? It's like a little bridge that you can walk on. Bitch, I just got this towel. Please, just go away. Can we please talk? I'd like to help. Help what? Remind me of my poverty? My drinking problem? Or that I'm a heinous flower thief? I'm not a I just want to hear your story. Fucking alcohol. I want to hear the truth. The truth? You want the truth? Here's the truth. I would never rob a friend, never. And that's the end of the story. Did Teresa tell you about the half story. days later she owes me? I needed Teresa to sell that flower so she could pay me. Why would I risk everything? My well-being, Teresa, and her sons, by stealing it. She'd mentioned you were storing the flower. I figured it was the best way to keep watch over it, make sure I got paid. So we put it in my shed, near the tower. I went to check on it this morning and... Nothing. All gone. You didn't see anyone lurking nearby or anything suspicious? You don't think I would have mentioned that by now? I can only tell you that I did not steal that flower. I wouldn't do that to Teresa. Or to myself. The only strange thing was that nothing else was stolen. My buckwheat, my beets. Untouched. Whoever it was only wanted the flower. Interesting. Mind if I go check out the shed? Maybe it just needs to be looked at with a fresh pair of eyes. Yeah, I'm gonna go steal the rest. <laughs> she didn't tell me where it is, she just said it's in the shed. Help us end this madness. Can I open the door yet? Where's the door? Aiden, you've been around a while. You're practically one of us now. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? How did you get I'll outside? Stand in the the same way we got in, Reese. 
door's unlocked. Somebody must have had keys. I didn't see anything in this fucking thing, gun. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, what? Why did I teleport back here? Come here, come here, come here for a second. Apparently all players are needed to open this door. <laughs> Fucking god. <laughs> Footsteps. Footprints. One set of shoes. Thief worked alone. Drill. The rest of the supplies are untouched. They knew exactly what they were looking for. Nothing's broken. Someone was very familiar with this place. Flower trail on the ground. Bags dragged this way. My sister found some weird tapes inside an abandoned building the other day. Some kind of audio diary from people before the fall. <laughs> trail ends here. It's fucking Anna, man. Is it? Let's go throw tomatoes at her. Maybe it's this guy. I have. Who had the keys to the shed? Me and my husband. <gasps> Nobody else? You sure? There's no sign of forced entry, Anna. Whoever took the flower had the keys. We made copies. So you do think it was me? No. Your stupid husband, and I'm gonna go slice his throat open. It's not out of the question. I thought at least you would believe me. What next? How do I return something I haven't taken? You can't draw blood from stone. Calm oh, yeah? down and think. <laughs> Who else would do this? Watch me. Help me help you. <laughs> it's right after all. Hard to tell. Mother Teresa. From the bazaar, perhaps? There's Dodger. That guy's capable of anything. And then there's Benny, Teresa's son. And that's all I can come up with. This is Dodger, your husband. Who's nope. this Dodger you mentioned? I know Dodger. He's a snake, that's why. One of the shadiest characters. He's a Russian guy. I did a mission for him. He took an interest in Did Teresa's pop. grain harvest recently. Asked a lot of questions. Never paid any mind before. Uh, I should talk to him. You'll find him at the bazaar. But watch your back. He doesn't give a rat's ass about people. Just money. Bitch, you ain't getting out of my face. What about Teresa? Before I How would he do this? Leave. Normally I wouldn't suspect him. Nice kid. I've known him all his life. He's like a son to me. But lately he's been quiet. Like he's got something to hide. And maybe he does. But no, Benny wouldn't have done this. It would break Teresa's heart, and he knows it. And even if he had taken the flower, why? That seems to be the central question for everyone involved. Where can I find Benny? Not sure. He's been making himself pretty scarce. That said, I'm sure Teresa's got him guarding their storehouses. Make sure what meager goods they have left are safe. I'll look for him. Since you helped my husband, I'll share a secret with you. The storehouses are full of traps. So be careful. My shed has nothing of the sort, Wait. which is probably why it was so easy to steal from. And as for Benny, Teresa keeps close tabs on her son. Ask her. Can you tell me where you were the night the flower was stolen? At home with my husband. What are we, you fucking detective? And not much more. We're nothing. Yeah, I'm. Nothing. I was home with my husband. End of story. Yeah, it was fucking Accusations Benny then. Enough around here. Yep. And not if we find the flower and prove it was someone else. Perhaps. But in my experience, the damage has been done. <sighs> maybe, maybe not. Let's see what I can find out. Let's see. I'm gonna go kill a fucking child. Hey 
Maiden. Warms my heart to see a treasured friend. You getting sentimental on me? I have a mission for you. You have to defeat an army of virals and then jump into fire. A jump? From how high? What? I'm jumping into fire, aren't I? <laughs> you got me! I'll be damned. And here I was thinking you were a stiff pilgrim. What do you need? What do you need? Teresa's flower was stolen, and I want to find out who did it. Teresa's flower was... What the fuck? Okay, you've got my attention. You got my attention. You know where Benny might be? Do I look like his mother? Believe me, he's on top of my where are they now list. I went down in flames in our last card game. He almost literally bet the farm. And lost. So if you're looking for that flower, Thank it's you. not Teresa's or Benny's no more. It's mine. The key Told you. it to me. And if it's missing, it was stolen from me. Aha, uh -huh. so Benny's in your debt. Big time, up to his ears, you might say. In flower. You think he stole it? Could be. He's a dumb kid who might think that will stop me from trying to collect. I need to find him then. Ask Mother Teresa. She's usually got the boy on a short leash. Like, except for poker nights, clearly. Poker? What do you know about a woman named Anna? What, the one who works for Teresa? Not all that much. Her husband sometimes sits in on our card games. He never said boo about her. Not even a few pints in. That says something right there. So now you know I have the most skin in this game. If that flower isn't found, I am the big loser. So maybe check out Teresa's storehouses. Seems like just the place a dumb kid like Benny would think he could hide. And if you do get your hands on the flower, just kindly bring it straight to me. I'll pay you handsomely for the service, of course. But it will save everyone a lot of grief, and... Hey, I get my flower. We can put this behind us. Easy. Man, I'm a fucking genius. Immediately knew it was the kids. Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the fall even happened. Hey, 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 everybody, stick together. Don't get stuck like this. Hey, Reese. Hey, yo. You're not your first legendary, right? Yeah. Oof, that floor doesn't look safe. Brass and knuckles. Maybe there's another way. Go brass knuckles. They're trash. Whoa. Yeah, it's right now the axe that I got was that was legendary is now shit. Yeah, it has like 35 damage. The brass knuckles. I think mine has like 32. Okay. And I didn't use it as like, oh, a legendary. I won't use it yet. But now it sucks. <clears throat> I think a green does more damage, which does like 37 or 38. <clears throat> the only good thing about it is that the durability is low. Well, I mean, high, sorry. Pretty empty as warehouses go. What the fuck are you doing here? You shouldn't be here, mate. How'd you get in? You're Benny, right? We need to talk. I don't like this. Dodger sent you, did he? Tell him I'm pulling together what I owe him. I'm just... I just haven't got it yet. Hold up, Benny. <coughs> Only you had a reason to steal the flower. You bastard. Do you think that just because you turn on the water, you got free run of the place? Tell me I'm wrong. 
I ain't telling you nothing. Fuck off. Fuck off. I ain't telling you nothing. Fuck off. Monkey on the car. Fuck off. Alright, let's kill this little fucking bitch. Whoa, there's zombies everywhere. The joint! You saw nothing. Wait a minute, wasn't I just here? Answer a few questions, but I want to. What truth. the fuck? Did you steal the flower? No, I don't even know where it is. So why did you attack me? Thought you might have been one of Dodger's boys. Come to collect. I see. You're in deep with Dodger and used your mother's bountiful harvest for collateral. I was hot that night, mate, and the pot was big enough we could have bought the Jansons fields. With the water back on and all, Mum and me would have been sitting pretty for the rest of our days. But then things got ugly and. Ain't no other way to tell it. I lost. So did Dodger take the flower? To settle up? Doubt it. Could have just made me bring it to him. And I would have. He's too lazy to do anything himself. But you know, mate, don't tell him I said that. So it's the husband. What's the of this? You are guilty of stealing the flower? My son is guilty of stealing the flower? Stealing the flower was your job, Teresa. So you pilgrims really are crazy. He's off his nut, Mum. You shut your trap and listen, young man. I've had enough of you as well. Benny wouldn't have pulled this off on his own. He's not exactly the brightest chap. No offense, ma'am. None taken. Lump of coal for brains, that one. Mum? Very well. I did it. But I really had no choice. Plot either. twist. We worked for months on that crop. Worked our fingers to the bone. It yielded enough to last for months. There'd be bread. Enough to feed the whole bazaar. But you know what Dodgy would do if he got it? Sell it back to us. For triple the price. We'd end up paying for our own flower. A cruel joke. All because of a stupid card game. We'd be ruined. I couldn't allow that. I wouldn't. So, where is the flower? Under the water tower. You must understand, it can't go to Dodger. Then why not? He wanted fair and square. Dodger? Fair and square? Hardly. He's a cheat. Everyone knows it. We just can't prove it. Okay. Say you're right. Is there a middle ground? Can we... Give him something else instead. Someone like Dodger doesn't seem all that flexible. He's got to be, mate. Talk to him, please. Ask him for more time. Anything. We're begging you. Uh, let me think about that. His son goes to work for him. There you go. Pay off his debt. <laughs> With blood. Chop off all of those fingers. True. There's a box over here that was covered in electricity. <laughs> Whoa! Nothing. Nice blue box with nothing in it. Whoa! Sick. Okay, let's make things lively. One hundred more. No freaking way, unless you're willing to cut the time by 10 seconds. Deal. Living dangerously. It was already an impossible task. Well, we'll see about that. 
Aiden, you find my flower yet? Yeah, that's what I'm here about. Teresa and Benny are in dire straits. Can you forgive their dad, or at least give them more time? Fuck that. How many times do I have to say I'm not running a charity? I didn't force Benny to play cards. You know, a man can't pay his debts well. He's not a man, is he? Stupid is as stupid does. Maybe when they got nothing left but the skivvies on their butts, they'll have learned a valuable lesson. You know what, Aiden? Actually, yeah, I think I got something to help everyone. Honestly, yeah, who cares about flour? What, am I going to be a baker all of a sudden? <laughs> I don't think so. But I do want what I'm owed. And me and Urban, we've got this bet. Wait, whoa, 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 no fair, not him. He runs on walls. Of course it's fair. There's no rule against having him get them. You pull this off, Aiden, and what Urban will have to pay me will more than cover my losses on the flower. And uh, the extra I can right show your way. fucking sensing a park <laughs> or challenge. You see, on top of the church, there's this, uh, well, let's just call it a flag. You can't see it from the ground, but this flag, well, it's, it's not a flag. Yeah, you'll know when you see it. Urban and I made a bet that I could find someone who could nab it for us. I've been raising the stakes for years, and Urban's called me every time. But with the amount on the line now, you know it would be a sin not to give it a try. Uh, I'm in no hurry. Rather, you just keep raising the stakes till it gets real juicy. What's that? <laughs> Fear suddenly got you all puckered. Nah, I, I'm just looking out for you. It'll ruin you if you lose now, being out the flower and all. Well, I'm game if Aiden is. The time limit's pretty fucking brutal, but, you know, I've got faith in Aiden here. So, you in? I'm in! All in. Let's do this. Well then, let's just get to it, shall we? Three, two, one, go. Andale, Aiden. Make me proud. Gotta get to the top of the church. Challenges? Okay. You're okay. No, you are. No. no. No! Fell in the gap, but luckily. I'm a beast. He runs on walls. That was easy. Just to get here in like yeah. three minutes. That was really easy. Or if the return too. Roger Dodger, uh, 
This game is fucking cheating us out of this. You're like, no way. The way they got here in this, in this amount of time. Okay, let me fast travel, maybe that'll work. Why does it say, please wait? I've got the flag. Come, wait, come it's back. cheating us! Come over here. Teleport? This is just please wait. We did it way too fucking fast. Just stay here. Just stay here. Uh, I settled this debt way too fucking fast. Why the fuck did it do that? I'm just quitting. Bye. Hold on, I quit. Did I tell you, Urban? I told you. <laughs> Been waiting years for this. We've got a winner. The Andy challenge has been conquered. Way to go, Aiden. All right, all right. Don't get so excited. And also restart of the timer too. So what's the deal with this flag? <laughs> it's a pair of Carl's old undies. You put Teresa and Benny's life at stake for some old underwear? This was more about the bet itself, but the undies are symbolic. There is a great story behind them too. No one remembers when exactly, but long ago, a wild wind blew Carl's laundry off his line and it got stuck on the roof. Carl wanted to mount some big mission to rescue his clothes. <laughs> Can you believe that? Anyway, everyone refused, of course. No one could climb that high. Off and on, a good wind would sometimes bring down a sock, maybe a shirt. But Carl's undies stuck there, flying proud. Urban bet me that I would never find someone who could fetch them for us. <laughs> but I did. <laughs> so you'll cancel Teresa and Benny's debt now? Like it never existed. And you, my new friend, you saved the day. Take this with my thanks. I bet you at the end of this game, um, this, this Aiden will turn into like a, a super volatile. Haven't seen my kids. <clears throat> Yeah, I think that's what those experiments were. That's my that's my prediction. It'd be the future. Uh, remember at the start when you're like a fucking leukemia patient? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> so mean. Well, it's true. And yes, fucked. All right, let's go do some quests. Yeah, well, we're gonna finish quests. doing the debt. And then we can do main mission. Any luck with Dodger? Yeah, he won't be hassling you about your flower anymore. Mate, how'd you do it? I won a bet for him. A strange one. But now we're in your debt. We'll never be able to repay you. Yeah, just give me all the flower. Then pay it forward. Start by apologizing to Anna. Yes. Yes, of course. Oh, God, what have I done? I'll go right you fucking away. Nonsk. Maybe it's not too late to repair things. I've been such a prat. This is all my fault. Just yep. try to keep your nose clean from now on. For your mother's sake, if not your own. Right. That was close. Oh baby, level up. 